Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome back to the Tuesday public hearings of the TRRC. Imam, you have the floor. If you can offer some prayers, please. Thank you, Chair. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rahman Rahim Maliki Yomiddin. Iyya kan abudu wa iyya kan istaeen. Hidina sirat al-mustaqeem. Sirat al Jin on Dam Talim, Hajil Badu Alim Waladalin. Allah, who Allah Zijal Lakum Lakaran, was Samai Bina and was so what a cum for Sanu Su Warakum, what a Ummi Taibat, Salikumullah Rabukum for Tabarakallah Rabul Alamin, who are Kayula Ila Ilahu, Fadu Mohissin Allah Din, Alhamdulillah, Hirabil Alamin, Bermati Allah Mofa Salim was Salim. وبارك على هذا النبي الكريم سيد سند الأزيم جل قلب الرحيم سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما ربنا آتينا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقينا عذاب النار سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين آمين آمين شكرا إمام جالو بشاب يحب الفلو بيس Thank you, Chairman, Lord God, Jehovah, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You who create all human beings in your <coughs> image and in your likeness. We say look kindly upon your creation and have mercy upon all human beings. Grant that the Holy Spirit power will grant your creation the spirit of humility, of goodness, of mercy, of love, of patience, and of compassion. We continue to submit the witnesses that will come before the TRRC this morning and we pray that by your graciousness you shall grant them the boldness to be able to speak the truth. And we pray also for the populace and those that are in the diaspora, the international community, to have the patience to allow the due process of the law to take its course and to grant the commission the designing spirit to discern between truth and falsehood. And Lord, we pray that this commission's work will be credible <coughs> to all and sundry. This we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Dem and Bishop Odeko. Council, you may proceed, Dem, if you are ready with this morning's witness. Um, good morning, Mr. Chairman, commissioners, and members of the audience. Uh, we are ready to proceed with this morning's witness, and uh, may I at least uh, on this occasion go and bring the witness. Uh, there's a matter I would want to uh, discuss briefly with the witness, no more than 30 seconds or one. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. 15 seconds would do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <coughs>
Mr. Chair, the witness is on his way. He had to do the regular morning checkup for all witnesses. I guess uh, he is fit to proceed, so he would be with us momentarily. Thank you. Thank you very much, Council. I, Ibrahim Adrami. I, Ibrahim Adrami. Do swear that. Do swear that. I'll speak the truth. I will speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you so much. Good morning, Mr. Drame. Uh, welcome back to the TRRC. Uh, may we have interpretation in the Mandinka language? If that was going on, we did not hear it. Mr. Drame, Kotanke, TRRC. Of course, Mr. Drame, you'd be giving your testimony in the English language, nonetheless we would interpose interpretation in the Mandinka language for the audience at home. Mr. Drame, Ibele said and Ronin, Ibadi Lanim to Abu Kamala, Bari Onyao Nyambe, Kanasoro Dundla, Konole, Puru Nyin Kamala, Lamor Lalomenbe, Sol Kono. Um, this is your second trip here, and I hope it would be the last. Um, uh, so you know the rules. Ina mu ila si njia fulani njia ngoti jang andu njiki la njia mukelele njia laba ngoti puruka na jang tu malawo njia o kang njiki la kwe sarto lone kul kata njia men. You know it is a criminal offence under the laws of this country and indeed uh, under the TRRC Act for one to provide uh, false or misleading information or to lie on the oath. Eh ni mulua tinyalti bangambia banko kanjang tumala mena ye kali ibina se dando dila lua tinyalem anikabi fanang onyaki lo nyama fanang tiara si fanang koro jang ala lua koro umulua tinyalti tumala mena ye kali ibina se dando si dila tiara si nyati nolo jang lua tinyalem anunga kumakasoro balo fanang vo fanang mulua tinyalti. And of course, for one who as one who has who may be found to have committed a human rights violation, no matter how little that rights violation may appear, uh, the person would not be entitled to a recommendation for amnesty if it is believed that the person has lied to the commission. Hanin kabi fana mola me ya longo jiko bije ko amari nying ay hadamadi nyan titinyal aya kile andung wala hadamadi nyan titinyal nying fana kono ayo menke nying aya tara senaya tara nara findi ko keda le amari nying suriro te kila e puru yamvo e kala e kafme amnesty puru alakuor. So, Mr. Drame, you are called today to testify about one discrete issue. Um, that is the work of the task force that was created to assist um, the ECOWAS UN investigation team that came to Gambia to investigate the issue of the killing of the West African migrants uh, in 2007. Yeye kumanda dalilo mengi kama jamu Mr. Drame wale mnyuto kukile mianu kama mianu sana wale mnyuto kwa tax force wale mkafu mero londi tano puruka kisi kisi roke na ing Afrika tili jinda la banku dingo mole mianu kwa yeye fa Gambia banku kanya yeye mole mnyuto kina njang wale mekoas EU aning EU moldi puruka na kuonyi kisi kisi. 
Are you ready to provide information about that? Silang Mr. Drame, be pare ne bang puruka kibaro dinya wokuono bang. Yes, I do. Ah, me pare chale. Um, so let's confirm your uh, information, basic information again. Follow what are your full names? Follow, follow. Nga damu da follow. Ila kibaro al follow. Luye ol dinna follow. Ito follow. Ito ni kontang do. My name is Ibrahim Drame. Nto mu Ibrahim Drame leti. And uh, you work currently at the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. Sain teng ibe do ko la na we banko la do ko bunda ro meri alon ko lebe marlin ka kelo ke nyin sira ma fengol la nyin banko ka njam. Point of correction is the Drug Law Enforcement Agency di Gambia. Left element tilin la olem Drug Law Enforcement Agency di Gambia do ko bunda me alon ko well, like a syrup from the Kenyan bank account. Well, to add the Gambia would be really superfluous. <laughs> so, so uh, I mean, it would definitely be the Gambia. But it's all right. We take it. That's the official name: uh, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, the Gambia. Uh, the national is not Drug Law Enforcement Agency. National Day. D L E A G. Ah, okay. Munta olem D L E A G. Drug law enforcement agents. No, not at all, sir. Okay. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you for for that. That's an important clarification. And you work there as director of operations. And nung ibe do kola jetel de marta nyarong ka la meng marta do kola tamandir nyala. That's correct, sir. Umutu nyali. Um, but. Prior to that, you worked at the NIA. But it's a new world. You do go to Bunda to go for that man to NIA. That's correct, sir. How much money are you? Did you hold in the NIA in 2007? How long did you work at the NIA? 2007. 2007. Some of them. Um. I was the director for internal security and operations. Until my directorate, my Marta, Tangoni in control la Bangkok no, aning ila duokul fanalu sambanya. You would admit, Mr. Witness, that that would be a very important position in this country. Se do ebe son namaleko o palaso tumala meno watu ebe o palaso ning abe maro amaro bi etele bulu umuk palaso kuma balde ning bangkunga. That's very correct, sir. That's why I was called the human robot. I was working 18 hours a day. Wo muto nyaleti. Wo deli lo le fanga ya kendi. Konde mu doku la masin masin doku la leti. Katun kamondro wati tang anin sai doku leti loko no. Well, well, you have the build for it. So you're robust and sturdy. I am sure that you have really stood the test. But also, that made you the repository. Of basically the national secrets. But how can we know? We are not going to move to Maya Longo Bank. We are not going to move to Maya Longo Bank. I don't know whether that's the correct interpretation, but but I am saying that that would make you one of the most informed persons in Gambian society about national secrets. We are not going to move to Maya Longo. We are not going to move to Bank. We are not going to move to Maya Longo. Member Kalamutaro Molko no Mialongo ay banko kulo tamandri nya yaso yalon doso. That's correct. Directly or indirectly, conscious or unconsciously, within or unwittingly, so. Muto nyalti. Aketa nyonya ndi nyama ebota kalamu emambu akalama aketa lanya karawo karati aketa nyonya ndi nyama fana umuto nyalti. That is quite an interesting formulation. I am sure Dr. Sisi would write that and frame it <laughs> and put it somewhere as no, part of the TRRC archives. Can I explain why uh, I said uh, Please go ahead. Why I said conscious or unconsciously, within or unwittingly, this was an institution. 
lankena mata man lankena wala kalamuta ta man kalamuta bari ni mudo ku dinkiraleti nu in bin whereas my capacity then as director internal security and operations dem en hanu yalo ntela makamu mentinu director mem marta ku banko kono kunyala anin do ko lu sambanyala karola the institution or the agency work on the principle of compartmentalization do ku bunda nyin e kayla do ko tamandi nyamin ay fanna fanna le soto men men ya lonko fanna wala bunda o bunda ya fan sun ku le soto tel marta men the witness we have had this issue of need to know basis compartmentalization at the NIA we have heard about it Often times it is just used as a cover for plausible deniability. But we have really seen Uh, that a number of people here mo, mo jamal jang claim to have been compartmentalized out of certain information it turns out that they were in fact the repositories of that information amunta nga modolu soto jam menu ni ni tande ko e ka kullo long menu nyanta lon na wol yalo menu manyana lon na wol kana long bari dolu ka foko etel mangbo kudolu kalama akana fintiko etelie amem foko e mambo ko men kalama wo katara etel fomu ko kullo maralati so you cannot compartmentalize out the director of operations and internal security because everything that happens in this country really would come to your desk everything every secret intelligence should come to your desk you are the head of internal security you cannot be compartmentalized out of that information because you gather the information isn't that correct mr witness woto we nyina itandi ko woto ka fo mom manyam melona kana long woto kuti na no la bunda la meya lonko ite manyam bola men kalama wala ite manyam melona katu ite la marta palaso la meya lonko banko kono tankada kunya be wole be wole to anim fanan ite la marta do ko lu sambo kenya la woto kuku ma wo kuku ma nanata atete la dinkira karno la tele tablo karno la atete fon karno la fay ke kuti membe futale ma katu ite la be sirno bunda la fonde in principle yes but in practice it is not kolu la nya kam ha wolem bari akana tamanya min fanan abukake nya wonya tu modulu mr witness are you suggesting because who would compartmentalize you out of information sayen selo wayri yo le fo sayen jumale be sotola membe ite da bondi la kibaro lu to men keta kibar kumati men keta bankola kodi according to the hierarchy at the time amunta na nyatonka palaso lu be larin nu nyame otumo i was answerable to the deputy director general nte kan danku director general nolan kolela who in turns was answerable to the director general me yalon ko fananke danku director general fawlela or sometimes you report directly to the director general wato do be je ke danku director general fangol warra mo bugata ina tema on ra occasion if the assignment is directly from the director general to me a woka ke bara bukasia bari o fanan katara ki baro ni wala ya maro wala do ko sasiro bota director general fangole ya ka futandi nte kuma you see let's cut the chase mr witness what i'm trying to drive at is you cannot compartmentalize out the head of the department that is responsible for the collection of the very compartmentalize you out bondi bondi no la kol ni ngono mi alon ko bo bunda ni atel marto kibaro la pour ka kibaro ka fnyoma pour director general yo general general ye ite fam bondi no la ko kol kono i agree but there are instances when certain operation do take place and i'm not aware of mambalangola tonya 
bari tumo dolu do kolu dolu ka sotole menno kake men yalon ko nde fango ka hani bolu kala ma that is obvious uh, that is obvious but Somebody for operations conduct carried out by your department par do ko me yalon ko do bunda wolle ake by your elements ila mulla you obviously would be aware ibo kala mu dalala very correct umuto nyal exactly and everything that was internal security was under you wo ko me yalon ko ko banko ko no ko no tanko ko nyal en ani tanko la ko wole mo be de to kila ko so all internal security operations banko ko no ko no ko nyal la da ko do ko tamandiri nya would fall on your lap a be be ne wudo itela ko correct sir umuto nyal exactly and it therefore means an oh. internal security covered every intelligence matter within this country isn't it what hanin kabi wanya kilo wanya fana ko ko me alon ko asujita ni tanko ko nyala me alon ko kullo ko lem nyum banku kan jang that's correct sir ko muto nyaleti therefore it was right when i said what hanin kabi abi atilindala nim ko that as director of internal security and operations you are in fact the repository of the secrets tumalami that we are going on or that happened in this country director emu director mi alon ko tela marra banko kono kono kunya la ngani do kol tamandiri nyala kullo mara nya kol be me be banko kan a be be tela marole ko tofo that's correct umuto nyalti thank you very much mr baraba so during this time in watola you were a member of a panel itarta kafo do kono task force rada itarta kafo do kono that was set up to assist a fact finding mission me yalon ko ya londina pour ka de malo di molla men yalon ko e bina to nya keso nyi ni najang very correct sir umu to nyalti could you tell us about the work of that Uh, of that task force the yes. members in the first place so other members faisa fo no mo juma le tartawo ka fo nyin ko no folo nga folo wala it was one fateful day uh, akata lung clean ne sotota my very self and aziz hydra were summoned to report to the ministry of interior ndak mo mem felet ndi teng ni aziz hydra yen ko man di pour nga tan dank minister bundala me marta banko kan ku nyal by the director general at the time Uh, director general membe je wotu mo wala yo kango sindimma mr lamin bobaji ka faye mr lamin bobaji then the ministry was housed where the current immigration headquarters were is wotu mo minister bunda be dinkira mento immigration la office be dinkira le to ton sai be nyi jabano mento ten when we arrived at the ministry rim fu dara minister bunda nyina we were or shot into the office of the then minister yen samba yen dundi minister la officer ko no wotumo membe minister yala mr osman sonko ka fole wotumo osman sonko present was the then inspector general of police at the time o tembo memu police ol fanal la kundon ko te inspector general o fanam bije esa baji ka fay esa baji and i found some other security members from various outfits andum nga kanto nin tankada bunda la do kula do lu fanalu taraje menu bota bunda ko tangolula let's get the name of all those in attendance my very self uh, my, shall we start with the minister please yeah. <laughs> the minister follow, usman sanko in, in what order in whatever order you choose nga ko nga follow minister so, honorable Fawla. minister honorable usman minister sonko. usman sonko yes the director general then nia lamin bobaji Director General Mem Marta Nia la wotu mo lamin bo baji afanam be wobe ngoto Inspector General of Police Esa Baji at the time o tembo Esa Baji lom Inspector General de Police o lakunton ko afanam be be ngoto My humble self Ibrahim Adrame ni ndefo ngo kundi ngo Ibrahim Adrame mo fanam ma beta wobe ngoto le Then CMC of the Gambia Police Force Wotumo memu CMC ti Gambia Police Bundala currently minister interior sai ngole minister ti memarta banko kan kunyalla Mr Yankuba Sonko ka faye Mr Yankuba Sonko You have Mr uh, Malamin Sise yo mem fanam ma beta je ka faye Mr Malamin Sise numo de let numo kujabi ala numo kujabi
de lait mfali jabang kala mfali jabang Mr Aziz Hydra of the NIA Mr Aziz Hydra NIA dokula am fali jabang was army correct yes from the presidential guard military intelligence am fali jaba te be sojaro la carola presidential guards la military state guard rather state guards la carola ni am military intelligence wala en sojaro la kullo kis kis bunda okay malamin si se police gambia police force ジャンクバソンコジーピーエフ。ジャンクバソンコファナンジーピーエフ。オフコースヤンクバソンコファナンジーピーエフ。オフコースヤンクバソンコファナンジーピーエフ。オフコースヤンクバソンコファナンジー
We were not chosen in order to investigate. Because there had been some preliminary or initial investigation conducted. By other task force that we are constituted earlier on. Notwithstanding, our mission was there will be a UN ECOWAS fact finding mission. That fact finding mission will visit the Gambia. Gambia Kumpabola. And they must have a focal point or focal persons that they will deal with. It was as a result of that. That we will be that front line that they will, that will be dealing with the, that you and Echo was mission if whenever they arrive into the country. That was but that is basic work, isn't it? That is just basic. That's normal. Isn't it? Yes. Why was it necessary for there to be any secrecy? For me, I don't know. But again, I think they did not want the entire general public to know and then probably giving out information that wasn't necessary. Maybe. Until a miracle. Na miracle. Womukuleti me ya longo imalafi puru jama moli na nyingu kala muda kwa mbele ulubina mene na jang puru ning akibaro jenga na jama moli kono isaje kumamesha ulusi uli kara ning kara la na long ibe balandi ngole la nungole na iko ngakukulor. This was to investigate the killing or the mysterious death of at least. Eight West African migrants. You must kiss kiss the land. 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 And when this event happened, the government promised to make some thorough investigations into the issue. Correct? You must kiss kiss the land. 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 You must kiss this is what I saw on papers and other media outlets. I mean, with that, the government should be interested to receive information from the public or from anywhere that would help the investigation. Wakang, manzakunda anyana kile bulu sulu wali tinu puru ke bunda yele mwole mea lanko ya abebola jamale bulu kakibaro soro mwole bulu akonyi nito puru kisikisiro yeso ayete sona yano. Correct? Most probably so. Asikeno wale nyama. And if an international outfit is to come to the country to investigate the issue, the government should be interested if it wants to be transparent in providing all the information that is available mm -hmm. and also not to block the public from providing any additional information that may be helpful. Ning bantala kafolo ulita yeji lafta nala kisi kisi rola jang. Nga mira mansa kunda fana nyana kela bunda doku mwole timea lonko anyane sula lale puru kie bunda yela mwole ya wole ya na anin jamara hamano wafana isaje kwa isi kiwaro soro na mwole bula kisi rola nyinga ya zone ya fond. Uh, Council, uh, I agree with you, but again, I would like us to look into what we were personally told. Council, I'm sorry to tell you, but I'm very happy to tell you that I'm going to be a long time until I'm going to be a long time. We would come to that. Uh, in fact, if the government was interested, I'm going to be a long time in getting real evidence, it would make a call to the public for anyone with information to come forward and help and provide that information to assist the investigations, wouldn't it? 
Masa kunda nye ninga adra Yesu la nupuruka kibaro soto akuwa nyindo Nibe kumandro kila jamaa ya nino Kabunda ya mwole ninga adra momo ya kibaro soto akuwa nyindo Isi na anafindi na yadi eh, manzala Fond As the first step for every investigation That is correct sir Kisi kisiru wa kisi kisiri Wele nyanta kila asimfa foloti Kwa ya afunyamimu ito nyala But on this particular occasion Banyin silado It looks like Things were done surreptitiously, like you suggested. Kuwa kita ni nyala mea alonkwa manja na kia kwa nyama, kwa iti hafo nyame. They were trying to hide the fact of these investigations or the work of this group. Iba kataka neka kuwa nyin keso wa nyin kaa mabo waranto wa nyin kafu nyin fana na duko wa nyin kaa mabo. Isn't it? Fond. I don't know about the... First investigations or what are partners that? No, I'm talking about your own task. Our, our own. <coughs> there were areas that actually will impinge into the fact-finding mission, getting to meet public, member of the public. Ntela o sasiro kono, kwa dolo bije ninga ulutama ndi woto na kisikizero bina futa la jamaa molo male. Purunyen kama la ninja ma moli nyomo ika kwa ulutama ndi me ya longo fana mbeta la kisikizero ni kwa kono le. You were tasked on paper, correct? You were given your terms of reference on paper. Was not that the case? We had an oral briefing and there were no paperwork. Ntelum mbe kachala tumo menga kachar dalela kumakango kalimo bari kaiti manda dajele. Tell us truthfully. Tuonyakam. What you were told was your mandate. Yes, the mandate given to us that the fact-finding team will pose questions to the Gambia government. And our task force is being tasked to give answers to those questions posed. And our answers has to be in collaboration with what government, with the government institutions, the relevant institutions. And they would be visiting places and we will be taking them to those places. And they will request to interview some people we should ensure we make available those people. So this, was the, our, our, this was the instruction given to us. But we were, we were never told that we will investigate anything now. We were serving as an arbiter, sort of. A go between that team and the Gambia government. Uh, were you to be honest brokers or some partisan players? <laughs> Council, before I answer that, can I give you a very short story? Council, Janimbo Kumojabila, Mbatuna, Missile Sutun Kilindila. Wars are fought. Elolu Kakenyaming. Soldiers go to war. Sojaro Lekata Kelola. Between countries and country. Bankunim Bankutema. But I'm sure all these soldiers are told that it is right that we go and fight this war. But instinctively we know one party is at right and other party is at right wrong. And those soldiers fighting the war things they are fighting a right war. 
Ari sojaro lumelu katao kelo la itelu karaflo beka nyele mirako. So to quote that story short sir. Itelu beto nyakang. Puruka kumosu tiyandi. So Rose it was country force. That's what we were seeing at the time. Itelu hotumo denka memmira folo nina banko nka wale folo mira nungo tumo. And we were told of only eight Ghanians whose bodies that whose bodies were found at Ghana town. Adu ye memfo nito lieko Ghana nko lumo saida manemu. And that is what this whole entire mission was centered about. Mr. Witness, yeah. sir, um, your narration yes, of the briefing and instructions you received. Yes, yes. Sir. Let me ask, let me exchange this. How long did your meeting last? Well, it's less than an hour. 55 minutes, 45 minutes. So I don't want to lie to you, but I know it was less than one hour. Um, and then, can, you know, I, can I be frank with you? Yes, you are saying that I be frank with you? But I want to be your frankest. I want you to be your frankest. I have never been scared or afraid until that day. Until that day, I have never been scared or afraid until Why? In my capacity then as director of internal security and operation, I have come across so many information with regards to this issue. And I now found myself looking at that issue now. So now you see the reason why I asked those questions at the outset. You had the information that not eight Ghanaians were killed. A lot of West African migrants were killed. Bango Africa Trigindala Banku Din Jamal Lele Yewol Lele Fa True or false? No, I did not know up to that time Ani Malo Nunde Hanifo Wo Tembo That 51 Ghania or foreign nationals were killed I would just defy that The question is not Where the 51 were killed The question is That at the time you knew That more than 8 Atambida Mose Yewol Lele Were killed no, that time I didn't know. Okay. Right. But you knew that at least some 50 something West Africans came into the country. Very correct. And you knew. Apart from the eight that were confirmed killed, the rest have not been accounted for. Very true. And you also knew that the government was jittery about any questions pertaining to the rest of the group. Council, sincerely, I do not want to talk for government. I don't want to talk for government on that issue. Why? Council, Malafika dia mumen sakunda. This incident in question. Nyingko fa mumeo. The time it was happening, I was not in town. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter where you are. The important thing here, Mr. Mm -hmm. Witness, mm -hmm. is by the time you were made a member of this task force, you knew that something much bigger very true indeed, Council. was presented on the table. Rumors we arrived, Council. Let me help you. Rumors we are very right. You see, but again... Council, I am going to say, I am going to say, I am going to say, I am going to uh, he said rumors were right. Very right indeed. What were the rumors? The rumors, the rumors was that uh, those people they have disappeared and the government has, has hands in it. 
nyimo liye mantale de adum man sakundale bulo ba kono and disappeared equal skilled ye manta anu nabodoro ifa afad ifadale most likely anu le muliyat uh, the training that disappeared i had disappeared equal skilled it's not disappeared most likely equal skilled no most likely no no equally yes okay. it equal skilled if it does suit you sir, i agree and and the thing is cool. the nia N -N had N -N its ears on those rumors yet yo kungunungunol yewol moyle isn't that the case for the manga quote of course ah and, and you would have done your credibility analysis no al sala yirikaro kenole men sabatira to assess alondi ka juube the reliability of that information o kibaro nyin ka sabatin ni correct o nya council council let me help you. There is a topic in the intelligence trade craft called rumors. Mm -hmm. Any times rumors arrived, there is at least 60 to 70 percent truth in those rumors. When other, air when other efforts are employed, that is when you come to authenticate that rumors. But this rumor at the time was touching on the person you have to report to. So, I don't know where you send those kind of reports. But at least you came to realize that this issue pertains to the person that you are supposed to report. Can you repeat that question again, please? Could, could you repeat your earlier answer? Haven't got that in kind of information or rumors. Up till that, it is not yet intelligence. Personally, I will not report that to those concerned. No. Your earlier answer was, well, you have this information and it relates to the person to whom you are supposed to report. That's the recipient. Yes, so you would not re report to not the person about Even if I'm sick, I will not do so, sir. <laughs> exactly. Very true, sir. Huh? And, 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 and hence the, the point that I raised, all right? And the fact of the matter is, at that point, you knew fully well that, well, these rife rumors had some element of truth in them. And that truth is the person you're supposed to report to is actually involved in the disappearance of this people. Very correct. Very correct. Okay. So, at the point you are sitting at this task force, were you told? To genuinely help these investigators. Or were you told to create a smoke screen aimed at misleading or misdirecting the investigators? And tell us honestly. Council. During the course of that meeting, 
we were not told anything of such. But there was this briefing we had at the NIH headquarters at one fateful day. When certain question arrived that was posed by this fact finding mission. We regard to a gentleman dressed in a very funny way. Maya Lonko Aketa Mole La Kuti, Maya Femfason Nudung, Maya Lonko Aketa Sola Kuleta Femlumenudung. And what was that was that alleged to be at the terminal holding a machet? And we are Foko Fongo Tatale Hanufo, Kulumul La Sembe Dulato, Adumotum Muruba Babulokon, Dulka Fai Fango. Wearing a very big trouser, which we call in our local La Ochaya. And juju ties all over the body. And Which was a real depiction of that uh, jola, the jola regalia of uh, dancing, what we call the uh, uh, butu sabala, you know. Mm. Na ado to badin jola lu nibe ninjanjungu lu kela ila ada bengu lu idalta o fem fasongo le dunna kaya jola kau memfote ka kumandi nyaming. Interpret ada mu jola barin dengol tia. Ah ba yo jola ba. Safo jola kaya ba fola kuke. Awa aning kole na badin jola lu. Good. So and they said it was a young looking person. Lu iko nyimari mu funding ke ole tifanang. And at that time. And do a tempo. All that description fits somebody. And do it a lot. Kumulu menu befo nya amari kalango. And it happens to be. Muliata. It happens to be. Colonel Kausu Kamara, ex Colonel Kausu Kamara, at the time bombarded. And when at that time, Mulu Momen Kalangola, while men in the Keta Colonel T, Ikafume Kausu Kamara, to Muleti, but Dulu Kamara bombarded. We decided in that meeting, and we were told. Gambian soldiers don't dress like that. Gambia soldier rule buka wo fem fason oldung. And that does not exist. And wo mantara caring. It is non-existential. And wo mukuleti me mukuso to balot. We have to deny that. Iko funga wo soso. Who told you that? You malay wo foe. All those of we those of us who were in the meeting. Dolo ben kono ben bulato je wole funga yo funye. In that meeting, we had two superior officers. That's the DG, the IG. But again, every uh, move of us was being coordinated and reported to the minister. Uh, let me ask you this. When you were being told, that uh, to say that Gambian soldiers don't dress like that. Was it known to the officers that in fact that information that is now being challenged in fact point direct uh, reflects exactly what happened uh, at the at the uh, marine unit and that the information referred to Bombardier. For was, was it known? So, I don't know what you're talking about. That was in the affirmative. We all agree. We all knew that was it. So, if in fact, you were being told that the information that was coming from the commission, that at that time, all of you knew that the West African migrants were all added to that list. That is what I am saying. 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 That is what I well, um, that was not the issue. We were not aware of that. We were, this question was directed to that individual as alleged by Martin Carey. Uh, uh, council, but, 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 Mr. Minister, just a moment. But Martin Carey's allegations should not be compartmentalized. Martin Martin Chirela tu mirole ni kumakamwa mmoja na bon kazi mbiye. 
the description of bombardment should not be looked at in isolation from other facts. Bombardment ya kalamu vonya ma e parisival menge o manje na ka ka bondi kurkono iko ya vonya menge amedame ndo. Martin Kieri suggested that they were arrested in Bara and taken to the port where all of them were were, were kept together and tied. Martin Kire men vole min de ko e muta barale nati banjul pobbe badala je ye kafunyo kan je ye city je and there and un jeto you had bombardier dressed in the regalia and carrying a machete bomba bombardier na je ayo dum fensifa dum chaya ani nyim don di komi an ko sa fol babal ani nyim fangola wasn't that his allegation fola man kala to mir kuma kawti that wasn't an man kawti de if my memory serves me well ni manyina that there was this gentleman that met them that's what the question whether we we know of that gentleman ko mo soton ta may ye bentum for the lot of the group bari ka fo nyin na kuma wonte but mr witness said oh gambia government's position gambia masakunda la lord la was that these west africans did not set foot in gambia wala min di ko gam ni afrika til jindala banko di ngol molu may singolo gambia banko kanjang that is what the gambia government said true wala gambia man sakunda yola fo muto nyalde but the gambia government knew that well these people were received were arrested in bara and taken to the marine unit and there was bombardier on that day dressed in this funny way that does gani and this cry nun to gambia masakunda membe nun nyambari ya lon ko asane ate mako nyim molu ye muta barala ye sotu ye nati nan ye banjul badala ma fam badala andu nyim lungo to jeto bombarde na raje andu ko ya fo nyame anyu dum fensifal men dum ay ho dis fensifal lel dum isn't that the truth fo wala mange to nyati council just answer that question council council I don't want to speak for the Gambia government. Well, you have no choice. In no, I, I will speak for the task force. Uh, no, you have no choice in this matter. Because the government had spoken and you knew what the government said. So you, could, you could tell us what the government said. I have the report here. I think if, if my memory serves me well, mm -hmm. I think the government was so blatantly denying that 51 nasona or more than that had had stepped foot in the Gambia. But mo man sakunda be nyin soso kan na ko membe tala fo mo talulu nin feng wolu that was government's fingula. position intelligi banko la mo ko man ajan everybody knew that was what the Gambia government was holding on. And o tembo nyin janjanta mo jama yalon Gambia man sakunda la lo la moment nu. And related to that point that there were 50 something who were arrested in Bara and taken to the marine unit is the fact that Bombardier, this person dressed in this funny manner, was at the marine unit and started brutalizing the, 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 the detained migrants while they were there. So that is why the government is denying the existence of this person who was dressed in Very this Very correct, manner. sir. Very correct, sir. Atu ye nyina fako ye nyimolu mutana mbarale ye natin na ba ko no sojaro la cordato banjul jang e kafu dam ye marine unit adum je nyimari o men e kaye nyim kurtibalu nyi sa fe don di ko ludum ya mario ye tarajele aya damu ta ka nyimolu tajire ya kabrin wo din kirato je man sakunda be balandin no jele la so so the reason the government was denying this incident with bombardier That is it's simply answer. because they did not want to confirm the story that 50 plus were taken to the marine unit. Dalilo me asa man sakunda me no nyebe balankan no min kola ka foko bombardier ko la nya ya fo nyame. Council I, I surely agree with you but if I if I let me explain something to you. Council ni sawun tema bari bari na fem foye. Sincerely yes proceed. Sincerely between me and God I would not have believed that 51 people would have killed if Oya and others did not come here and make those revelations. This is unspeakable. You just cannot imagine. These were facts that were hidden from us as a task force.
Ning aya tara ko oya ani anyu adonyo ko tawlu manna nun jang ka tonya yandi nte lala la nun bar wo mukuleti ka mem ma bon tele task force molu manu i would agree that all the details may have been hidden from members of the task force be sonna nyimmal ko asike no kol nyimbe ta mandiri nya ko ila ranya men nyin kafo e melo ndi abe but it was obvious that the members of the task force knew that the government was lying about what has happened. I will not call it as new. I will say which there was the suspicion. Nta fono la koku kibare de bari nying mukule dinsa fono kudumo sobobe kering ko. Let me learn, my counsel. A matter that has not been authenticated. You just cannot imagine that 51 plus people arrested with no arms, no ammunition, and brutally murdered, like killed like that. Ite ni mutala ko mutala lulu nkilimensi siya watu ya ulu mutale jora ntebulu ime mutadali la koi kang ka ulu mutake fafala wanya No investigation done Isi kisi kisi rima nke la kuwoto No court pro not no nobody take into court Mwama ima mwa samba kitola So what was the yardstick that was used to kill those people Saa yungu nyilie mungu sarta le tamandi kurika umolu faa Frankly between me and Allah there was suspicion. Or that it will arrive to that. <laughs> well, then it was, was maybe, just like may, a total maybe, gold. Maybe, maybe there was more than suspicion. Let's say there was constructive knowledge that these people were killed. Remember, disappearance equaled killed. He said, if I want to, if I am to be frank with you, at that material point in time, my suspicion was on the eight Ghanaians killed. Haven't received information in the manner in which they were found. For the other remaining one, witness, okay. you will recall that the NIA in fact participated in the operation. Not to my knowledge. Why I said during the, their, their, their presence or their emergence into this country if I, I suppose that was in 2005 I was not in town. I was conducting training somewhere else. I, I, I don't dispute that. I Mambala have no wala. reason to. Mambala wala. I am telling you that these people were received by the NIA. That's correct. And yes. brought to Banjul. And brought to Banjul. I learned about this. <laughs> Frankly, between me and God. During the testimony of Usman Jallo, Usman Jallo nata jabe sede arola, and also that of Jibril Seka, Jibril Gul Seka. Anin Jibril Gul Seka fana be sede arola tu mome. At this time, 2007, where was Jibril Gul Seka? Oh, what was Jibril Gul Seka? I don't remember. 2007. I think Jibril. I don't. I don't want to guess, but he was embroiled into some problems here and there. Aye. Yes. Malafi ka kumam kamira kamira kumoda mamfu baringa mira. Watembo Jibril abe dunding kole ya kodo lukono dinkira doto. But where was Usman Jalo? Barisa Usman Jalo benu minto le. Was that in I at the time? Utuma in I. In which unit? Bunda Jumato in I. I think the investigation unit. Na mera tebe kisi kisi ro bunda. Investigations was indeed under operations at that time. Very well indeed. <laughs> so in fact, <laughs> the repository of the information worked under you. And um bitu weni itandi ko kibaro luka dunda men wo bete la kotonu. During my tenure, ndela taro wiche okono. There was nothing of Ghanaian issue raised at the investigation part. This was sometime in 2005. Then I was in I was in director of internal security and operations. My point is 
Go ahead, sir. That the person who actually received the Ghanaians. Mola me yalongo atele nyingani yano atele bismi atele gia idunde itul atele bulogano. See, worked under you at that time. You were a member of the task force. But do you call it a court of what or And let me tell you something else. The NIA maintained a big file. NIA by file balance sabatindi. On this particular issue, every government correspondence on this issue was was kept at the NIA. And, and I have this report here, and let me read out something from it. Mr. Chair, I'm referring to Exhibit 206A. This, this is the investigation report uh, of 2005. And the task force said this. Uh, many, many uh, page 17, paragraph 15. Lera tani warola sapatani lulu. Um, he says that. Ako. No, let me start from paragraph 14. Lera fulo sapatan patani sabanjau. Investigations revealed serious inconsistency as the number of alleged, the number of people alleged to have been part of the group. This Ka is manifested in the statements of both Martin Carey and persons detained at police stations. Amunda kwa njia na fundi kwa kumakanga lumanke kilinti menu fundi ta kabon na kanto bunda la molo ani Martin Carey fom fana na kumakanga lulu ai menu fo wali ai tangu le kofatam fanso be kumakanga lulu nyiltole. Right. And they went on to say in paragraph 14, the critical analysis of the statement of Martin Carey revealed serious inconsistency as in the statement where he claimed the number uh, was 56. Anu wo fatam fanso findi ta kumakanga lutole mem fata karafulo bela anim Martin Kerry fong la kumakanga lulu dame ya longo wole mnyinti ko mo talulu anim woro ila foro roko yole muda. Paragraph 15. The investigations consider Mr. Kerry's claim, particularly in his reference to the military man dressed in bizarre manner and wearing a traditional cap, as an imaginary thought or illusion. Italian that every sane or objective person would see as fabrication. It it is prudent to note that the Gambian government managed a well-disciplined security force where proper dress, where improper dress is not tolerated. To say that a military man was wearing a traditional cap with cow horns on them is unfounded. <laughs> Paragraph 16. Although the discovery of the eight African bodies at Bullfoot was almost the same period with the arrival of group of people who anchored with a canoe in Banjul, there is no evidence that the bodies discovered were part of the said group. Uh, paragraph 17. The panel considers Martin Carey's claim in Das uh, Das Das that people were taken to Coloban's police was unfounded. Coloban did not exist in the Gambia. However, the panel is aware of a certain Coloban, which is an area in Dakar, Senegal. 
adu ina tafnyi mfana mfuko ko martin keri la kumo ko no nyi mfuko ye molu melu muta wonya ye samba dinkirato e kafu dami ye koloban e bari wona ta lo nyi ko gambia dinkirati jang e kafu dami ye koloban e te lamira ro nyi to wolam dinkirati koloban be dami to be dakar senegal be obviously this is very misleading the person was referring to kairaba station and just simply mispronounced it and they wrote it as koloban and want to link it to koloban in senegal nyimu, this is deliberate nyimu, obfuscation nyimu nyimu filindir kuma baleti meya safe wo ko nyi aya tilindi kairaba police station olela yo bari wite la safe roto ngalom filo le ketaje man kairaba safe itata koloban safe ji wala na wul fanali ya muta wonya paragraph 18 The panel upon critical scrutiny of Martin Kerry's statement doubt as to whether he could walk from Banjul to Bunkiling in the Kazamas. He never said he walked from Banjul to Bunkiling. He said he walked from the forest where they were being killed to Bunkiling. Another deliberate obfuscation of the of the facts. And in Martin Kerry la kumoko ka foko atamata simul la kata hanfo ka bo gambia jam fo bunkiling wo fo fana nata ke kuti tel yem men so so kote kenola adum martin mo fa kole drong mo to yetel samba fo wulo kono dami lefte fala dami ate kanata woldo bitu ngala o kono kono le mata ta finti bunkiling e itel la foro ina ta wole so so ka foko mu kuleti mem fana te kenola you see from 2005 the government was on a deliberate path to lie to the international community about what has happened through this report kabo 2005 na mansa kunda be silo le kanum me ya lonko ya wuli nyina kamma ka filindiroke ka fania bafo mem man soto ko ya ko me ya lonko le be dendi nyi mol la ko la ko nyin ki barol ya findindi nyame ngabe nyin kayto bala nyame you agree isonda council council This report was put in 2005 from what you are reading. Ye nyin ki baro buntung 2005 e kamen karanteng. I have never said eyes on this report. Nte nya ne ne mambo nyin ki baro kam. Like I told you all around. Nga fo enu nyame commando. 2005. 2005. When this incident happened. Ri nyim be kala. I was in the round. Teta nte ti jam. So let me launch. But that is not the point. The point I'm trying to make here is. Yes sir. In 2007 Mm -hmm. when you were told uh, that you should say that that person who was dressed in bizarre manner gambian officers don't dress in that particular way you all knew that that information referred to bombardier um, was it 2007 or 2008 2007 2007 yes we all lied there you yeah, all lied sorry. yes we all lied consul consul mem fa wolem nyindiko ye kibaro mem findi ndi meyalon ko wole denta wommo la meyo da ba kurti ba ni o safe do ndi ko dum atel men be panelo ni task force ni ko na liyalo na ko bombardier la kolon bari ako na ta ke kuma te men so so bari kan sedo fana ni nyum foko ha mbe ye fana yalla fojede but but the, but but the thing is mm -hmm. that lie did not just come up that day that lie started in 2005 you may not have known But that lie started in 2005 November 2005 this report shows it that lie was still being made in 2005 so in 2007 your task force was set up to continue that same lie bari nyim fan ya nyi amanke nyi 2007 nga fenger ka bin 2005 le madam mutata amunta kabri ya to la kafo nyi lo me mal tax force di al tentental ron ka wutul ya nyi ka tententi i am not disputing that ma o so so Precisely, precisely. I'm happy with that answer. All right. And when you gave that answer, you all knew that Bombarde, Bombarde was dressed in this particular manner, wielding a machete at the at, at the Marine Unit headquarters. Correct. Any defensive fall done. Fango fango babulu atata soldier la ba korda ba Council. Answer. Just answer that point directly. Jabiru that Jabiru. was our suspicion. That was the entire suspicion of the entire panel members. No, no that, that was not a suspicion. That was knowledge. Uh, you, you cannot all immediately suspect Bombardier. I mean, it, remember, there was a person among us 
Is he a kilo to come over to the corner and move to more? Whose name is there in the first panel? Main to be panel following. Also in our panel, two of them. A bento final la panel or corner to move fuller. You have Malamin Sise, Malamin Sise, Yafali Jabam, Nimfali Jabam. We are all in the panel, previous panel. Many along with the panel for. And then when they re when they resulted calling those names, I don't believe or told you for. That was Jabam who said, I think they are talking about Bombardier. Bring Botumal and Jabam Kunga Mirai be Bombardier. We all knew they along. He was fond of that. During national celebrations, he will always join my uncle's group. When they are doing this, uh, butu sabo. What? How do we call it? When they are, you know, trying to stab themselves with knives, cutlasses here and there. So there was no mistake in those things. But that information. Did not exist in a vacuum. It existed in a particular context. It existed in a particular set of facts, particular circumstances. Agreed. Agreed. Let's proceed. Okay. And, and, those, and those circumstances were that these people were arrested and brought to the uh, to the marine unit, and there came Bombardier wielding a machete and started brutalizing these people there. From there, they were taken to be killed, according to the story of Martin Kerry. And so, uh, I want you to believe in one thing. Taking cognizance of the fact that that fact-finding was centered with the eight cops found around Brufut, Ghana town. Ibrahim Adrame, at that particular point in time, I have not received any information no, was I aware that 51 people or more gathered at that base? I don't remember that I was told to go to the police. The Gambia government wanted to make the investigations only about eight dead bodies. Gambia manza kunda ni lefita kisikizro kila ni mose yodone la kuwaro ni mfure seyo. And would fight of anything that would suggest that it's more than eight. Wogu la fara waka mea longo ayatko atambita mose yola lebo ibo ibo kere. Ibo balano wala. That's what you guys were tasked to do. Yal dunu yao le yal sasi wala pur aliyo kwa. Whereas the 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 international community were interested in about fifty six people. Let me come in there. That fact finding mention was not about 50 something. It was centered towards the eight cups that we have found, which were later ascertained that they were found here in the Gambia, buried here in the Gambia, and later on exhumed. But I want to. I want to witness. I think uh, that uh, you probably missing something. Soon after the event, the current president of Ghana, then foreign affairs minister, Sign made a statement that some over 50 West African migrants, including about 44 Ghanaians, Sign came to Gambia and ate. Dead bodies have been found. I had the clues. Exactly. So the issue was not about just eight dead bodies. The issue was about 56 West Africans. And your task force. Was to help limit the investigations to just that eight. 
puruka dandi roke puruka kisi siro nyinka dandi nyu mose yol din drone la ko isn't that the case for wala manga that was, was the, that the case, case and that is where all the all the questions pose we have been asked alu wala mu ko nyin ko mo fangati alu nyin ka rolu menu be keta menu fota be be dandi wo din kiral the point i am trying to make is left a point o men londira wala mu that your task force was made to lie about other things so that Allah. the focus would be limited to just that eight la kavoni mema la tax force on your london no puruka fani yako is fani ya sabatin ni nyin kamala ko nyin kiaro ni nyin saje si si suji ni ngo mose yo rondo la ko at that time i will not call it we are, we are made to lie wo tembo nta funo la ko yen telu fani yan dile why munana there was no cohesive information atu kibare sahari man futana ngol mawtu mo that was make available to ross me ya lon ko ya bontel ye nyoto about 51 or more people been killed in this country a foko mo talulu nin kilin wala men si siya wodi yow le fa jam and i will suggest that is not the case mr witness we have got lamin sedo nga lamin moy lamin si se nga lamin mi si se moy le he testified here i said andro di jan and he said this report is false kuny report on yimuf amanga to nya report i am not disputing that ma was so exactly taking cognizance of the outcomes of the revelations le kato ne ko lu jube melu be nata banke wa nyaari tan ne lu jube you say me on ko nyimu council council there's one tenet i work on most most of the time One of the principle is most of all is the last to know be menyanta ko folo lo na jama jama wala kata ke mo labango te kabo kalama secrecy breed suspicion kuloka kumpole sababu which breeds more secrecy me ya lon ko fanan kana kulo do i want to make it uh, excuse me sir i want you to believe one thing nafta yela ko kelena there was not any one point in time what i man soto no wotumo that we we are made to understand da me ya akata pour kante lu fahamu ni ni ko we are told that 51 people were killed in this country wala ka fanyen ko mo talul ni kilen yo le fa me personally pour nte ko mo dam man fangode and i want you i want to beg you to believe that dum be dani lay sila wala most of this information came to to light ni kibaro lu jama findita wato during the revelation of the trrc during the trrc yes you know there were suspicions Mr. Mr. Witness, the issue here. Mm -hmm. It's not about how many people were killed. Mm -hmm. And whether you knew that that number of people were killed. Mm -hmm. The issue is mm -hmm. that the government lied in a report. And your task force was created to maintain that lie. And no tax force on your sabat londi le pour kaw fani yani kaw sabatindi. And to misdirect the investigations by the international committee. Isa je menu be bana banta la kana kis kis ro la ko lu feeling ni. So I think I have answered that long time. And so ngam rango jabili nu wati jang. What is your position? The way the event unfolds. kibaro lu nyil nata janja nyami it is as white as a white sheet of paper that's the truth a koyta le ko nyin kayti koyobe la nyi lu wala to yebo on that wo manyana mele wo kokuna no and the other point that i am going to make is that members of the task force knew that their existence was to not help the investigations but rather to mislead the investigations by helping cement the government cover mbe mam fanam foleja wala nyindi ko allo tax force on ala londo nyinga manke nyindi ko ye londi nyindi ko pour ko ma kiss kiss la nyinki de ma ala ye londi men kam wala nyindi ka kiss kiss la nyinki filindi anun kam masa kunda nyim fanan de ma ka ko nyinta ka mabo at that point in time i would say no wo tembo de mba fala le hani we were made to focus and believe about the eight cops found in 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 brufu yentelu landi menna anin kanya tilindi menna wole mo fure sayo me yeto all the rest we are all but mr witness that cannot be the, the case i said o te kenola ko la nyaati because you have this report ka to ye report o soto jam which predates your task force which is all a lie me yalon ko yole fololon di janna la task force but but let's let's confront things head on Your task force was told in no uncertain terms that they had to be careful. Correct? 
Repeat that again, sir. You were told in no certain, no uncertain, no certain terms by the, no uncertain terms by the minister that you had to be careful. Minister, of course, we were all cautioned. Cautioned, we were all cautioned. You were asked to be careful not to provide any information that would not be helpful to the government. There were no such directives, but you can read in between the line that that was the notion. Amunta wo kamfa songo mandi na re baribitu momondi ngel hakitama hakilimati yekuolu lanya jube ibe sobe la kukulu be wole nyama. Could you put it in your own words? I wasn't there. We were, you have to be careful all that you say. That you are not sure of. That will implicate the government tomorrow. Were you at liberty to say something that you were sure of, but which would also implicate the government? Counsel. Counsel. Between me and Allah. I said it earlier on. I said it earlier on. And I'm going to repeat it again. I have never been afraid in my entire life to conduct an, any operations, any security operations, this time around. For tembo. If I had it my own way, I would have pulled out. Uh, uh, let me come, sir. Let me learn, sir. All right. One of the reasons that I, why I said so, I was not very frequent in our meetings. Uh, but before the meeting, mm -hmm. uh, tell us why you are really afraid for the first time. You have, you have participated in very interesting operations in this country. And uh, so why were you so afraid this time around? Having knowledge about the rumors that were circulating, and taking cognizance of the position of government, any slight mistake from that panel, and if we had done otherwise, well, I am, I'm very much confident I would not have been here to testify before you today. Well, let's interrogate this issue, this statement. You said quite interesting things, three important things. With your knowledge of the rumors, and taking into account government position at the time, you are certain that if you had made mistakes, you wouldn't be here to testify. These are three important issues you said. And let's dissect them. What were the rumors? First rumor, eight Ghanaians were killed the suspected foul play by government. Second no, no, let me come. Second rumor. That eight cops, government denied them, or government has denied having any knowledge about it. Yes. That is so so we 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 Number two. Martin Kiari has spoken. Martin Kerry Diamuta. And he said they were 56. 50 something, yes. And then the newspaper and other media out there were saying a lot about the, the, the disappearances of those people. So, so you just cannot refute refute all those informations. So you suspected, therefore, that the government disappeared this. Uh, that government knew. Forty-eight people. Government knew about the remaining people. And we are going to come to find out what more motive be so so no la. Council. If you were in my position, I'm now answering your third question. 
Can you leave the palace? Where are you going to tell that fact finding me? So no, Gambia government is complacent in this. They did this. They know this. No, I would not. Oh, oh, Molu Menunata, Jumale Behani la Kaloi ni atilu la kafu. And if you had done that, but just a moment. Just a moment. So the one. We've talked about the rumors. Uh -huh. Two significant ones. Uh -huh. Rumors and information from various media outlets. Yes. And just to set the record straight about this, this is the statement uh, by the foreign minister of Ghana. Uh, Ghana la minister made Marlin on the 16th of August 2005, uh, uh, barely three weeks after this incident. 2005. And he said that, uh, from these meetings and visits, the delegation was able to determine about 56 West Africans comprising about 42 Ghanaians, 10 Nigerians, 2 Senegalese, and a half Ghanaian Ivorian woman and the Togolese had been made to believe that their ship was in the high seas of the Gambian coast to transport them to Europe. So they begin, began their journey in Bur and they were brought to Gambia. So the allegation by Ghana was 56 people came here. And I think he did not only stop at that, I think he even paid a visit to the Gambia. Yes, but this statement... I do not want to dispute this statement. I want to take cognizance of other information received from various other outlets. And that is precisely the point. It was not only rumors. These were official accusations. By the sister republic of Ghana, that, that at least 56 West Africans came into the hands of the Gambia government, and, and eight dead bodies were found. And Gambia government was disputing. So, so when you sat there at that meeting. You knew fully well that the government was in a cover-up operation. True or false? If the minister and the ministry responsible of internal security of this country, Ninga yatera minister. Refuting on behalf of the Gambia government. And today we have arrived at this conclusion. We will, we will accept that this was a gross manipulation. And a serious deception of facts. And I solely agree with you, counsel. But the other point I am making is that the task force was set up principally to serve as an obstacle and not as a bona fide facilitator of investigation. Yeah, unwittingly, unwittingly, counsel, no, that would, is the truth. I would not say unwittingly, I would say deliberately. For whatever reason, we just cannot do be against her. You are very correct, sir. Councillor Nyilin Karo came and took over. We need to tell our task force. Ya tell the London the police keep bantam biloti. We move on. Ya tell the government we need Nyilin Karo la jang. Eh, see do ko ha. We mukule ti. We move on. Kuso to ngolom. Yo, we la na fango na talo ako nyinkum kule ti maya longko. Ateso sono la barutu mo feeling di role keta kwenye nkolo. And uh, when your task force repeated uh, this crazy story that Gambian officers don't dress in bizarre manner, knowing fully well that that accusation referred to Bombardje, this was a deliberate lie by the task force repeated to reinforce or cement the government deception uh, towards the Ghanaians. Council. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Good. And so, you see, but, but council, but, just, just one but, moment. But, I, I, I want to ask you a question. 
Well, Sorry, uh, you are not supposed to be asked. I am suggesting. The, the if you were in that panel, and at that material point in time, having knowledge and suspicion that I am talking about, you see, the the thing is, um, fortunately, we have seen the example of Justice Hawa Ba. However, uh, pulled out not on her will. I, I deliberately, we were not calling her whenever we had meetings. And why was that? Why was that? You know, why was that? How, we saw her as a civilian. No, you that, that's knew. That's how we saw her. You knew that she would not play party. This, you, that was one thing to play that's one, I agree with you. I was coming to that as well. Exactly. So they kept only those people who they knew would throw the government line. They knew these people would play ball. They knew these people would cooperate. Isn't that the case? Agreed. And those... Council, I want us not to labor more on this. And let me just finish. Let me just finish. They knew yeah, that the director general in NIA would play ball. He would he yeah. would cooperate. Yeah, alone. Director general member of NIA. They so knew that Ibrahim Jim Drame would cooperate. And yeah, alone. Ibrahim Jim Drame would cooperate. They knew that Malamin Sise he he wrote the first. False report would cooperate. And they conducted the same thing. And they conveniently put out the false report. 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 And they conveniently put out like I said earlier, I did not come here in order to dissuade uh, the, 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 the part of truth. I was made to understand one of the problems Benedict Jame had trying to look into the because this occurred at the time when he was i think the inspector general of police i was made to understand he was he was acting like a prophet and wanting to do the right thing wanting to go to the fact as it occurred or happened and then what happened but i think uh, that was short lived or, or, or he was short lived that that effort was short lived i don't know when to said uh, him in but that effort was short lived what happened? i do not want to what put happened to benedict, benedict. benedict. in that job no i um, i think the the investigation sort of ceased for some time and then S some time later I know Benedict was redeployed to the Minister of Justice. Nearly either a month or so or less. I cannot know the exact time. Or day. He was made Director General NIA. There also. Within a very short span, I watch it. Shooting the keyboard of Fanang. Either between three to six months, something like that. He was his service was either dismissed. He was either dismissed or terminated. Yeah, for you only do call. But when fire by the fire, la nyanya nyanya nyama le bari ya bondi do call. But I know one important thing. Ringa kukuma keli long. The gentleman is a very principled person. Umu mole ti me ya long kotilingu ni tonya akatama wole. And a straightforward guy. Umu mole men sobe ata katilingu. I have no comment on that. May his soul rest in peace. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that group was a group 
that the government knew would play ball. I beg to reject that, sir. They did not know we were made to play, play the game they wanted to. But you see, that is neither here nor there. Government ensured that those who were there, they played ball. In fact, Mr. Witness, isn't it the case? What was your rank? You were, you were num essentially de facto number three at the NIA. Director Internal Security and Operation, correct? Ah, uh, muto nyali. Director Internal Security and Operations. Wale kono kono tango banko kang anindo kwa sambanya. What was the rank of Fali Jaban? Fali Jaban dunne lak makamu mune tino mwato. Lieutenant, I think. Utembo Lieutenant Longa Mira. Clearly, he had more say in that task force than any of you guys. Senator, I tell you, kamu besa, I tell you, kamu lalo lolo belo laje katambi mo bela mbe ukafoni kwa. I will say yes. Mbafula ha. Due to the fact that, no, let me learn. I'll, I'll give but you reasons. But let reason. me finish. Let me finish, Mr. Witt. I want to help you. I, I know. I, I, I decide the way I think you can help me. Thank you, sir. Uh, I just want to get to the facts. All right. Why on earth would a lieutenant, lieutenant or Makamo member have no say in a task force than the CMC? Than the CMC la. Prime Management Coordinator of the country. Than the Director of Internal Security and Operations of the National Intelligence Agency. Why? Uh, I don't want to give you any hypothetical theory. Uh, just tell me the truth. Uh, taking cognizant that Fali Jabang was from the State Guard. Precisely. And he will not report to the Chief of Defense Staff at the time. And to, to who would he report? I am sure his report will go to the commanding officer of the state guard battalion the state guard and then possibly the president i am sure so he used the eyes and ears there for the president and above all the state and above all the state house so it was obvious to you at the time, therefore, that the soldiers were accused of having carried out these killings. That were the allegations. And, and of course, the, sol the commander in chief of the soldiers was the president. That's correct. And of course, if the president is not encouraging an investigation of crimes committed by the soldiers, he must have had an interest in covering that up. I am not trying to back the president. I don't want to speak for him as well. Mr. Witness, just answer the question. Don't hide behind. Uh, I don't want to speak for the president. This is just an obvious fact. The truth of the issue is you were told not to investigate. We, we are not, no, that's what the, the instructions were. Not to investigate. Exactly. Yes. So, we were not investigating. So, so if the the president's, if a, a group 
whose ultimate commander was the president was being accused of having committed a crime. And the president does not want an investigation to be carried out. Wouldn't it evoke suspicions in your mind? Of course I will. I will, of course. And of course I will. And, and what, wasn't the presence of a member of the state guard that was a ringing bell. <laughs> Those were your words, and what tune were they ringing? Not, no, why should I say otherwise? Wasn't it suggesting to you that toe the line or dead you would be? Well, I would accept what you said. Trust me within me, even if you had closed me into a barrel. I would not say otherwise. No? So all of you knew that you had to help do the cover-up as, as you were made, you were being asked directly or indirectly to do. We were we never told that they were complacent in it. They said, those facts presented is what we go by. But directly or instead, not only did the task force provide false answers. Among the things they found wrong, the tax force only the Jabiru film the Jabiru LLD. It also organized. We are we are London for now. The doctoring of diaries to be falsely presented. In diary, we are wrong. Police only in court because they have been going over for now. They are all for now filling the. To the investigate. Kis kisirul kis kisirul alma. I know one thing. I cook very long. The diary was presented to the task force. The diary was brought in by two people. I remember that was a weekend. That weekend it was brought in by Java and Numo. Which was given to the task force. And that was that that, that was the diary that was given to the fact-finding mission. Personally, I do not bother to look into the diary. Were you helping the investigations or was that part of the deliberate effort to mislead? On the side of the Gambia government, we were helping those fact-finding people whatever they need. Knowing obviously that, having got knowledge of all that was circulating around, we stick to what we were asked to do. Which was to reinforce the lie that was already provided. Directly or indirectly. Could you answer now? We will only Could you answer the question now? As things has just revealed, mm -hmm. we were just lying. Yes, in the finale, in the All that was being said at the time was as what has been revealed today at this commission. <laughs> but, but, but that is, you see, all that is the problem that I have. The issue is that in hindsight you were lying. That's yeah, not you, the issue. The issue is we knew. All of you knew that you were wallowing in deliberate falsehood. Albert, 